Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hardcore. I, uh, might have made a zombie farm off camera. It's not anything super special, it's just, like, your average. They fall into the water, it pushes them in the hole, and then they end up over here, and, like, three punches away from death. So that's cool. I've been using it to enchant stuff. Um, I want to get my hands on another Efficiency 5 pick uh, before I... Uh, and then go strip mining to see if I can't get some more diamonds to get the diamond armor. Also, I've kind of scrapped the idea of putting the whole trading hall down here. I might put some of the, like, mining-related villagers down there, like the blacksmiths and the armorers and the... and all that, uh, down, down there and kind of make it look all... all miney. But for the rest of it, I think I'm gonna make, like, an actual trading hall. Like a normal building. Or I might make separate buildings for, like, different types of villagers. Like, I might make a barn for the... For like the farmers and the leather worker and the bush and the butcher. Like make different themed buildings that work for each different villager type. So what I'm going to start with is a library. So that I have a place to get books so that I can get my hands on some mending. Because that's going to become important very soon. But before I'm able to set up trading halls, I am really, really running low on iron. I've got... Five, six, seven. So, I mean, if I smelted those two, I could make a total of six rails. I'm gonna need more rails than that. So we are going to find our way back to that big cave that we found in episode two, I believe. Because there's an iron vein down there that I'm gonna completely mine out, especially because I have fortune three. That should get me enough iron to last until I... Hopefully until I can build an iron farm. So, I killed some pillagers outside, and I tried to kill the captain by bouncing his arrows back off my shield, but it didn't quite work. So I'm gonna see if I can scoot over to my cows without triggering a raid, which might be difficult. No, my cows are definitely going to be too close. Oh no, the sun's going down. I totally did not monitor the location of the sun before I left. Thankfully, there are sheep here. Oh, and I have my shears on me. Oh, a goat! So I actually just learned this today. You can milk goats. And you know what? I kinda wanna go horn. Ooh, oh, come on. I think I jumped up too soon. You have to like wait to jump up until after they lower their head or after they start running. Weird. What about this one? Can I get you to charge me? Don't. Do you not run into the block? Will it not if it's snow? Am I gonna have to go cut down a spruce tree? Maybe I can get this one to charge me into the spruce blocks. Maybe that will work. Oh! Dang it! He hit me before he hit the wood. Dang it! Again? There we go! I got one! Which one is it? Feel. I am okay with that. I am okay with that. Well, I no longer have a uh, bad omen, so let's get going on back. Oh, and there were cows right here. Of course there were cows right here. I didn't even have to go up that entire mountain. There were cows right here. And we are back. I'm going to get enchanting and then we're going to head back to that 
cave that we found a few episodes ago and dig out that iron vein, or at least as much of it as we can before our pickaxe is almost broken. There's a... I was on my way to the iron cave, and there's a guy here with a trident. That's just like... No, oh, now he's... Now he is going. I doubt I'll get a trident from this, but I can try. Heh, <laughs> trident. Yeah, no. Just rotten flesh. Ah, here it is. I'm glad I brought doors or I probably would have died trying to find this cave again. Ah. <sighs> Lovely. Now, where's that iron vein at? I think it's over here. So, I think that uh, 32 blocks of raw iron plus a stack and a half of uh, more raw iron will probably be enough. Uh, I would like to come back sometime soon. Maybe even in this very episode. And uh, explore this mine shaft. Because, like, look at this. It's massive. And it looks like there's, like, this un an underneath bit here. I want to explore that, too. Of course, cautiously, so that, uh, you know, we do not perish. But it would be fun. There's a wandering traitor out here. What's going on, buddy? I don't have anything on me. And you... Mm, that moss block might be worth buying. Will you get in my boat? He will get in my boat. The llamas... I'm sorry, but you can't come with me. Now it's time to go see if I have any... Emeralds. I probably don't. I do not. Let's get some moss. Moss! Fantastic. Uh, now... Regrettably... You must be dispatched. I went to get some coal so I could go strip mining, but I got a little caught out in the dark. So hopefully I can get home. I've got almost three stacks of coal. Let's make it a full three stacks. One thing I did realize, though, when I went up into that little cave area is that I need a way to get, um arrows. Like a good amount of arrows. So I think maybe after I get done strip mining and getting all my all diamond gear hopefully, um, maybe after that we can go build a big ol' mob farm. Find somewhere good out in the ocean and just build a giant mob farm. Hold on. Apparently not. I thought I heard a skulk sensor while I was walking by here. I did! I heard- I heard it! Did y'all hear that? There, I heard it again. I need to- I need to turn on my subtitles. These are my footsteps. Skulk sensor starts clicking. I think it's above me. That's kind of scary. <sighs> um... What do I do? Do I- do I go up and try to find it? I mean, it's not setting off a shrieker. I don't even think that it's setting off to my footsteps. Oh, that is terrifying. Yeah, I don't think it's my footsteps that are setting it off. Because I walk around all the time and, and I don't see it pop up. So I don't think I'm close enough to set it off, but I'm still close enough to hear it? That's... That sounds a little weird. But I guess that would make sense if it's just above me. You know what? I have... I've only set off a shrieker once. 
So I think I can do it three more times. So if I mine up... Uh, oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Do I, I... Do I do it? Uh, let's go. Nope! That's a shrieker! Nope! Uh-uh. No, I'm not dealing with that. Nope. Mm-mm. No. Not today. <laughs> not... No. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just mind this redstone. I'm just mind this redstone. It can... Streakers can leave me alone. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I've decided that I want to commit to trying to find this deep dark cave or it could even be an ancient city. Um, but I need to go get some wool first. So we're gonna go do that. Okay, I've got 25 wool now to do quite possibly the most nerve wracking thing that I'll do this entire time. Uh, and Hopefully not summon a warden. So apparently the uh, warning level on the Shriekers goes down uh, once every 10 minutes. So technically I'm on strike. I, I've gotten one strike. So I can set it off one more time and then a warden spawns. And it's kind of somewhere that direction. And I am suddenly extremely scared about this. Um, let's go. I can't break that torch. I mean, I have to break a block. If I hear the warden coming out of the ground, I'm immediately switching to my shears and getting the heck out of here. Okay, let's go. I don't like this. I am not a fan. Uh. Yeah, well, now I'm on strike two. And I don't know where it is. Mm. Uh. Okay, out, 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 I'm out, I'm out. No, 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 no. I don't like this at all. The thing is, I'm in a two block wide. Wardens are three blocks tall. So even if he were to spawn, like, right on this block, I can still leave. I can still leave. I can run away and get out of his sonic boom range. Oh, goodness gracious. Why am I doing this? I just need to know what direction it's in. Nope. Down I go. Down I go. Away. Yeah, no, I'm gone. Goodbye. We run. We run from that. Okay. Yeah, that's scary. He should go away after a minute, right? He can't get over here. There's no way he can get over here. Why am I going closer? Why am I going closer? That feels like it was less than a minute. Nope. Nope. We leave. Nope. We leave. Goodbye. Okay, he left again. I really want to find the Shrieker. So that I won't have to worry about it later. 
at a time when I'm probably not prepared for it. And away we go. I think what I need to do is just, uh, do something else for, like, 30 minutes while my warning level goes down and then do it again when I have three strikes again. Because this is, this is so nerve-wracking. Just run in! Break a block! Run away! Wait for the warden to despawn! Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, we're gonna, um, we're gonna ignore that for now. I'm gonna put a block of wool here so that I know that this is, this leads to that. But I know that my level here, oh, there he goes. He's leaving again. Um, I know that the level I'm at, even if I can hear deep dark stuff, I don't think that... I will set anything off from down here, but that being said, I think I'm going to stick to strip mining on this side uh, for the time being. Alright, so I strip mined for about an hour, and I've gotten a lot of stuff, namely 51 diamond ore. But the thing is, in the course of doing that, I also... Uh, Almost broke my diamond pickaxe. Uh, I say almost broke. That's still, like, 200 durability. So, I want to get mending on it before I actually break down all of those ores. So here, in my little villager area, I have, I have three of them. This guy is a mending guy. But I, uh, I accidentally hit him. No, never mind, he's not a mending guy. What happened with that? He was a mending guy. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to change that. Um, accidentally hit him while I was, like, breaking the lectern and putting it back down and then checking, and I accidentally clicked, uh, the wrong mouse button and hit him so his prices are super high. Um, hopefully it should go down and then, like, if I get a zombie and, and cure them later, then... That should, uh, that should fix any problems, but I need mending. So, I guess I'm gonna go back to chopping this, uh, chopping this lectern up and setting it back down. And then checking. I have this guy over here that's got the infinite book trade, or what would be the infinite book trade if I cured him. But, he also sells glass. And so what I want to do is I want to upgrade this guy again so that he gets the glass pane trade, and then I can get infinite emeralds, and then I can just buy... I can just buy a mending book, so... I bought two empty maps, though. And I really want to make a map room, because I think that would be super fun. So, I'm going to... sleep first. Oh, it's got my base up there in the corner. That's cool. Let's go over here. And actually, no, let's go behind. I want to make, like, a map room that has, like, a map of the entire continent. And then maybe an even bigger one that has a map of the entire, uh... uh of the entire, like, ocean around my... my little continent. There we go, mending. That is for 27. Which is a lot. And hopefully he won't miraculously change again. Finally have enough emeralds for the mending book. Let's go get mending and put it on my fortune three pickaxe. And then we can see how many diamonds we got from that strip mining session. It's blast protection four now. How did that happen? I didn't... I didn't do anything to that. Alright, let's find mending again. Here we go. We've got mending again, and we have enough to get it, so let's get it and lock in that trade. Alright. Mending book acquired. Let's put mending on this pickaxe. 
And now it's finalized, so I get to name it. I want to name it the bold. Uh, because of the, you know, the idiom. Is that an idiom or just a saying? Fortune favors the bold. All right, let's see how many diamonds we get. Let's do this up here so we don't risk the diamonds going into the water. All right. So we have a total of... Uh, I can't do that math in my head, but a stack and 56. That's almost two stacks. Holy moly. So, you know what we're gonna do. You know what we're gonna do with these, don't ya? Of course. Cover me with diamonds. Get out of this ratty armor off of me. We are in diamond now. My goodness. And that, I think, is a very fitting place to end the episode. So I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm so happy to be in diamonds now. I can't wait to get this all enchanted up with the use of my zombie spawner. And maybe a few more villagers if I can uh, scrounge them together. But, again... I hope y'all enjoyed the episode. Have a flip-fantastic day, and bye-bye!